Robin Rovers suffer a shock defeat uh, at Sheffield Wednesday. The worst team in town. Uh, but Rovers just weren't good enough today, despite uh, Sammy Smodic scoring yet again. 3-1 final score uh, going in favour of the Owls. Uh, and to be honest with you, I'd say in the first half, the game was pretty even. Uh, and of course... Um, Rovers were a little bit hard done by to be trailing at the uh, at the first at the interval. Uh, as we had two or three chances that really should have equalised, but uh, our fantastic away form comes to a halt, possibly at the expense of our home form uh, in midweek against Birmingham. But um, yeah, this one this one's tough because I feel it's a missed opportunity considering the results elsewhere. When you look at um, the uh, uh, the teams in and around that six spot hole, I think they lost today. Preston lost yesterday against QPR. Uh, who else lost there? West Brom at Champions. Mean, so uh, a chance that that we could have been sitting in the in the sixth spot in the playoff spot heading into a week uh, a week free of games. But uh, we'll take the take the L, move on. Um, of course. Yeah, it doesn't look good on the resume, being only the second team to have um, to have lost to uh, Sheffield Wednesday. So not great, but let's let's kind of give Wednesday a bit of credit. They they got a good result against Wednes uh, against Leicester, uh, a draw there, and of course a win here back at Hillsborough. So you know what? Maybe maybe just maybe things are starting to work out for them. Uh, do I think they're going to get out of relegation trouble? I don't know. I think it's a still a long old season, and we'll see where they are in about six weeks time uh, to see if if they can make. This is a bit of a habit. Rovers, though, just were, were dire. And um, just goes to show that without Sammy Smodic scoring goals, you know, we are, we are, um, had a little, not, not as much threat as we once have. Of course, we lost Tyree Stolen for a good chunk of time now, two months out. Uh, I thought Leonard could have had a chance to really step up to the, up to the plate. Um, but uh, he uh, was one of, I think, the only substitution today. Uh, Astelilovic came on, who I thought this was a fantastic opportunity for him to break his duck and get a goal. But no, he only had, uh, I think, one chance towards the back end, which was really a, a nice chance. But... Um, again, that finishing is just not there. Yeah, there yet. Rovers though can uh, can be uh, fortunate with their other results going going their way, and will remain where we are in seventh uh, with the with the distance between ourselves and the person remaining the same um, unless things change elsewhere. But um, yeah, this one's a tough one to take. Uh, but kudos to to Wednesday. You know, for a while ever, Barry Barron is still playing. They've got an architect in there who um, is like Benjamin Button, never gets old, and he just keeps on churning out the decent performances from midfield. Uh, and young Kadam uh scoring, of course, brother from a son and mother, from, um, of course, former goal scoring uh, supremo for Everton, Danny Kadam I think that's his first goal for Wednesday. So, uh, congrats to him. Um, but we've got to look at Rovers depth here. Uh, of course, this, it's, it's been, uh, it's been ringing in our ears as Rovers fans throughout the season. We are using the Academy. Uh, we are stretched very, very thin. No hedges, no, um, no Hyam, no Gallagher, no Tyree Stolen, Travis suspended. <coughs> there's more. I'm sure there's Joe Rankin Costello's out. Uh, there's a whole host of play senior players that are out. Um, so maybe just maybe that's, uh, 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 a warning sign or, or maybe a, a, a call to action to the board to say, hey, let's get, you know, I, I think I read somewhere that, that the David Raya deal will go forward and Rovers will get that three million. So maybe just maybe we can strengthen the team uh, in January because I think we need it. I think we need some reinforcements. Don't get me wrong. I think that the, the academy players have a, a decent um, and, and will eventually make the step up. But right here right now, we need some experience. Need the guys that get over the line because... Uh, we're still in this, you know. We still have a chance to get into that top six. I don't know how long we can be in that conversation, especially after a performance where we lost to the worst club in town. That's right. So let's take this L. It hurts. It really does, especially after a strong first week back from the international break. The major concern is what happens next time against Leeds, early kickoff. Will JDT be on the touchlines? I don't think so. I think he's going to be watching. Uh, he's going to be watching me doing the watch along next week and see uh, how Rovers are getting on there. So... Uh, Remy, Remy's going to have to do the, the the donkey work and make all the decisions next time around as as JDT takes his touchline ban for what appears to be a, a period of the game where the referees just got it wrong. The second goal, the most important goal for Wednesday, a lot of question marks to be raised. James Hill pulled back, of course. That was just the the, the, uh, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back with JDT. 
as I think he was cautioned earlier for some some arguments that he had uh, to the to the touch the the. the fourth official um uh, and there, yeah a lot of argy bargy as well from the wednesday players which i felt was disgusting uh, and something that needs to be eradicated uh, i think you know and it's, it's a topic of debate going around everywhere especially in the top flight var and all this kind of stuff i think you've got to mic up these referees let's name and shame these uh, these foul mouth aggressive overly aggressive players who who give referees what for let's name and shame them get them live on air so uh, their disgusting attitudes can be displayed for everybody to see but hey maybe it's just sour grapes for me as a Rovers fan but um we just weren't good enough today but it's been a busy week six points from nine ain't too shabby when you look back at it but it's just the fact of of who we lost to today no disrespect um but uh, hey you know what if 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 Wednesday go on a run here now five six games unbeaten then then, uh, then uh, it will be, it will it will taste a little bit differently. But right now, this one's a bad one. Until then, I'll see you soon. Subscribe. I'll catch you later for some more.